This match that we're about to see is the last match of the Sentinel Tactics Tournament before the semifinals. So we've got this match, we've got a bit of a break with an exciting thing to happen in the break, and then the uh, semifinals. Between this match and the semifinals, we're going to see something really cool from Dice Hate Me Games, so stay tuned to it. But first, we've got to have some fighting superheroes. Yes, indeed. Let's take a look at the bracket. So, uh, on the primary bracket, that hasn't changed since the last time, but on the secondary bracket, based on the thing that we saw, um, we know that we're about to see fifth place and spin the dragon. Meanwhile, teammates are fighting some, something clever. And if you remember, we saw teammates and something, we just saw teammates beat Team Tachyon here on this table, um, and something clever we saw very much earlier on. So teammates and something clever are now duking it out. And fifth place, which we've never seen here, but we've talked about since the beginning, because we're excited for fifth place to come in as something other than fifth place. Uh, and then Spin the Dragon, who we have seen on this table before, and we have specific hopes and dreams for them. They they know where things went wrong the first time, and yep. I think we're going to see something real special out of them. I this think time. that if Spin the Dragon can spin their strategy, I didn't really workshop that for really, really long. Really? No. I, okay. Uh, but anyway, th then they w if they can spin their strategy, then the game won't drag on. See, that, that's what I like about you, the dedication to the joke. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. All right, okay, so uh, all that aside, I think we are about ready to go to the table and see how the two teams are doing. So let's see, here they go. We're getting the final explanation, it looks like. Uh, all right, so we're ready for the, t the coin toss. And we have, that's team fifth place you can see there. Perfect. So first band. No citizen and they bond oh, they banned Citizen Dawn, so Spin the Dragon doesn't even get to, to spin the hammer and anvil. I I'm know. I'm going to do that about everything now. What do you want to ban? But I'm sure that they've seen some other strategies that they can use. They were here watching for a lot That's of our true. commentary. And they banned Omnitron, so two of our biggest, scariest villains are gone. So maybe Ambuscade, maybe Proletariat. Maybe, they're, oh, they're picking up Legacy. Legacy. There you go. Bunker. Bunker. Sure, Legacy and Bunker, obvious choices. And without Baron Blade... <laughs> the Wraith, okay, okay. all right. Not surprised. Oh, and he's picked the Wraith, it's the same as last time. So hopefully now he'll he'll have gotten that, that edge back. Oh, they're, they're strategizing. Okay, that's a speedy team. There you go. Legacy Tachyon and the Wraith. Yeah, that's good. Absolute zero. Absolute zero. Oh, nice. So all heroes. In fact, it is the heroes from the core game. Now this is going to be beautiful because I've been wanting to see how well Absolute Zero works against Tachyon. For oh my a while. gosh, I am excited about this. It is core game. This is like back to vanilla. Yep. Oh my goodness. Okay, man, the Freedom Five and Ra got together for a barbecue, but instead it's a fight. <laughs> Which admittedly is what a lot of barbecues turn into. So were you watching the stream before or not? When we were playing earlier? No. Uh -huh. All right, good. So they're figuring out their characters and their strategies here. So, uh, yeah, with the, the team set up the way they are here, um, since we've got the Wraith, the Tachyon, and Legacy all together here, I expect Tachyon is going to be mostly attacking. Yep. Legacy is going to be maybe defense, but I he might actually, be given tokens. I would actually like to see a fully attacked Legacy. Yeah. And a full. I would actually like to see a team that dedicates completely to the knockout. Touch. It would work. Legacy with uh, with a surge of strength and with uh, flying smash. Yep. Uh, the uh, Tachyon taking extra turns and putting people down, and the Wraith going just full stun bolt and uh, the micro target and computer and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Whereas then absolute zero, um, putting down ice walls, Rob putting out a flazing sight. tornado, yeah. and uh, Bunker staying back and going in turret mode. Like that'd be kind of exciting. I, I would. I think that would be pretty epic. That'd I'd be like awesome. To see that. That'd be awesome. Um, all right, so let's see here. Is that all right for turn, turn token? All right. 
All right, so they're selecting their turn tokens as orders here. I'll be, let's see, yep. So Legacy's going very first. That's, oh, I, I want to see that surge of strength. I want to yeah. see that. That's I smash. really like putting Legacy in the last position and giving him dangerous sense and heroic interception and saying, it's okay that I don't take my turn. I'm going to do plenty between now right. and when I actually get my first turn. Not only that, but the heroic interception, it, essentially it can function as a move. Oh, yeah, right. Yep. Okay. Uh, yes, look at Solar Flare. Yeah. Gaze at its power. Look how attractive that Solar Flare is. You know you want to. Think about which, uh, which card you want to use with Solar Flare. Because, of course, Solar Flare is a given. You're going to use Solar Flare. I mean, why wouldn't you? Obviously. Staff of Ra? No. No. Flame Spike. Flame Spike well, I mean, and Solar yes, Flare. But, you know, you could do Staff of Ra and then switch you, it out. You switch into uh, Staff of Ra later once you uh, have taken a little bit of damage. Yeah. All right. So... Given that they are have started to select, selecting their stuff, uh, they're still let's see, they're picking where they're placing. So yeah, bunker is right there in the middle of the field. Absolute zero is back a ways, uh, and not he tends to be a bit slow. Really, but, where I would put him. You know, there's not a good in that team. There's not a good person to put up there on the hill. Right. Um, unfortunately, they're all going to be hampered a bit by speed. So bunker is certainly going to. I think that's fair. Okay. You know, it's not a bad setup. Tachyon in the back, obviously. That makes good sense. Although Legacy in the back is fine, too, especially if you're playing a defensive Legacy. But maybe they want to play full-on offensive. Maybe they want to put him there so he can get in with a Flying Smash. Although for a first turn, let's see, move and Flying Smash, one of them maybe? That'd be I exciting. would love to see that. <laughs> so I exciting. would truly love to see that. I think that's a bit overreaching. Probably first turn you want to do full-on token generation and then starting second turn for, like, Move and give lots of tokens, yeah. And then yeah, second yeah. turn, flying smash, flying kill smash, kill yeah. So, uh, so especially with no Baron Blade. Now that we've told them what their strategy is, as long as they just follow what we said, everything should be fine. <laughs> yes, no deviation. Yeah. Uh, so just so we can talk about it, the Wraith has combat stance. Great first first time pick in case someone decides to come and screw with her. Sure. I mean, let's see. No one's going to, but fine. And targeting computer. So like targeting computer, I like to see that. And then well, my guess is that the combat stance is just there just in case something happens. Yeah, slip into shadows I don't, would I can't be a think better. Of anything slip that into would shadows. Have, maybe they've decided that they don't want to slip into shadows. Maybe they're like, you know they what? That's want, it. Yeah. Never again with exactly. the slip into shadows. It didn't do us any favors last time. Uh, so yeah, so we're gonna see targeting computer, and I want to see that combat stance turn into a stun bolt. Or or throwing knives. Yeah, but stun bolt's really good for one target. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Debuff I, I, and death. I'm not ever going to argue with you about that. Oh, that's good. I, appreciate, I, I, that's what I, I like have about things you. that I want to use to counter that and yeah. things that I would like to see against that, but that is a really potent combination. So you, so you don't want to argue with me because you don't want me to realize what your strategies are. So one Pretty day when much, we yeah. meet on the table, <laughs> you survive more than two rounds. <laughs> I, I'm going to grind you down uh -huh. with my team. Uh -huh. your, your fast attack is all well and good, but it doesn't last. My friend. Yes, it follow that up with something. It doesn't need a last if you die in round two. I, I like your confidence. I also think that you I will could spin your dragon into the dust. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> you, you doubt the operative at your peril. Oh, that's fair, that's fair. All right, so um, Legacy has got Galvanize and Inspiring Presence, so okay. he is token generation. Um, we're still waiting on Tachyon, but Absolute Zero has Fueled Freeze and Impaling Structure, so we are seeing Battlefield Control. Bunker's got Artillery Mode and, and auxiliary, auxiliary Power, power source, source, so it's full support. And Ra and has Blazing Tornado and Flame Spike. So okay, Blazing then. Tornado should already be out. It's not yet, but it will be soon. So we should expect to see Blazing Tornado hit the field My very, very soon. My guess is they're going to be using it to and, cut off one of the forests um, like yeah. they did last time. It seemed to work for them pretty well. Right, and Tachyon does have the World Stand still and unrelenting momentum. Excellent. Uh, good times. Oh my goodness. Okay, so they are they have all their powers. Yeah, I'm, I'm like curious to see. So Absolute Zero is So where's six. that Blazing Tornado going to go? So Absolute Zero is last, and he's going to step out. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Also, we still need a Blazing Tornado. Yeah, so the Blazing Tornado needs to hit the table pretty soon here. I'm curious to see what's going to get cut off. It could be the forest again, but with Absolute Zero on battlefield control, I'm not certain, and, and hmm. 
putting out a blazing tornado if that happens instantly. My guess is it's going to be more in the center to just block off Tachyon's ability to just blaze through. Uh, I really like that placement. I think that was really smart, what they did last game, where yep. they put that blazing tornado at the OK. Oh, yeah, yep. sure, sure. Right there. Absolutely. Yep. Great. Love it. You, you have, remember how we have tornado, I mean, the volcano's up here, yep. and down here is guns, and in the middle is safe? Now you're going to have to nope. go somewhere unpleasant. I love it. I probably would have put it there. Uh, one hex further south. Just to cut off a little bit more. Just yeah. be, because yeah. the mountains already are somewhat intimidating because you have to, uh, people that don't have mobility. Th that said, their team has mobility. Yeah. <laughs> like, this is mobility versus not mobility. It's, yeah, this is going to be exciting. Roll it either one Although with that mobility, that means that my guess is that Tachyon's going to go up across the fours and get close to the lava. It makes very little sense. All right, so we're starting off with Legacy's turn right off the bat. Here we go. Myself and each of my allies get attack plus one token. Attack plus one token for everyone. Hey, give out those tokens. I, I really hope that he gives uh, Wraith maybe and the I'm attack take plus an action to galvanize, giving plus two defense yep. to Tachyon. <laughs> well, that's not the worst person to give defense to. Right, yeah, honestly. Protect the squishy. Especially since she's probably going to burn herself down. Yeah. My last action... All right. Yeah, I'm thinking the spot with the six on it. The spot with the six right here. Do you move that far? I've got a move and a six in mobility. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is an absolute truth. That is certainly true. Okay, so we so like here. There. Let's see one, okay. two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I can't quite do that. There you go. All right. All right. Sure. That's Sounds fine. Now you and he gave out some tokens. Yeah, so, and you know, those that ugh, a movement of three, that's fine. Everything's going to happen close. And besides, you don't need the movement of three. The next move's going to be a flying smash. We not only that, in. but with that team, they're going to have to close in. Oh, uh, yeah, Bunker, sure. not oh. necessarily, but... Yeah, even still, like Bunker, can afford. Bunker to get over the mountain needs yeah. to at least get to the base of the mountain to lob grenades over it. Right. So, like guess we can afford to just sit there for a little bit. Yeah. yeah. All righty, so, let's see... Oh, so, okay, interesting. So Ra ran all the way down into the woods. Which is not where I would have put him. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is Ra have that? All right. Wow, so Ra is fully. Ra's hiding. He's hiding. Well, you know what? The thing is, he wants them to get way close. And then once they get way close, like, this team is fast, this team is slow, and they know it. Yeah, so and Absol Zero can step up and put a wall of, a lot of ice and say, look, you have to get past the fire and then past the ice, and then you can fight us on our terms. Yeah. I, I can't help but think, though, that that's going to backfire just because... Ha backfire. <laughs> just because we know that the Wraith has been learning her lessons. Well, and also for me, I think that that means Legacy is going to take some time and make sure his teammates are all flush with attack plus one tokens. And then massive, And massive so then, hits. sure, they have to fight through the fire and ice, but then they're just... But, <laughs> yeah. And honestly... One massive hit from Legacy, uh, one big flying smash like that. Yeah, it's it's pretty nasty business. Okay. And the Wraith says, "No, I can play that game too." <laughs> oh. Aiming the throwing knives against Bunker, and there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten away from each other. So, so that's four. four. Yeah. Right. So fours, fives, and sixes will make range. So let's see what happens. Hey, wow, that's, that's nice fantastic, hit. yeah. Uh, Bunker's got one six, but the rest is not enough. Bunker, in fact, takes three damage first turn from the Wraith, and they said that she was a shrimp. Nobody, nobody really said that. No, but, uh, no one ever says that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's. I mean, the other one could go against Absolute Zero at a, at a range of only sixes hit. Yeah, but that's still a, that's still entirely feasible, and even one point of damage on him is a good start. Okay, yeah, you're right. Sixes would, but you don't have any chances. Never mind. Yeah, that's fair. All right, so you moved the throwing knives. It still has another action. Razor Ordnance. Yeah. 
There we go. All right, why not? Only six. Oh yeah, four, five, six sixes again, and it is not aimed this time. But hey, but that's that, a nice hit. A four and a five against Bunker. Why not? There's no reason not to. And that's great. These attacks. It's what we want to see. Just whittle them down. And blocks <laughs> none of it. Takes or both of it. In this case, take a giant chunk of his health. This, this is fantastic. Oh, I wouldn't exactly goodness. call that whittling. Yeah. <laughs> and that's turn three of round one. Now Bunker's like, now, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is Bunker's first action. <laughs> Guys, where did all my... Oh. <laughs> uh, actually, that's fair. And he can't grenade launch from there. Um, he can't see... Oh, he can see Legacy from there. So if he had a snapshot micromissiles in, instead of the auxiliary power source... No, dodge, okay. That's a thing you can do. Bunker's known for his dodging. Oh, yes. Yeah. So. Make sure he goes into turret mode to maximize that dodge. Can't dodge in turret mode. I know. That was the joke. Oh. Five. Five. Yeah. Super speedy bunker in turret mode. All right. Speaking of super speedy, Tachyon actually only has a movement of six, which is actually seven because the world stands still. She is the fastest uh, thing ever. The world still. Yep. Oh, uh, never mind. With hypersonic assault. Oh, that'll be exciting. Uh, yep, get her down here. And, and whoa, 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 whoa. she can just play the magical eraser down here at the top of the forest. Uh, I like that idea. So I will move. Uh, one, two, she gets one move of her if five, she can get down. Six. Okay. I'll move again for my second action. Right. Oh. Uh, no, no, don't do that. You are here. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Oh, shoot, shoot. Three, four, five. Six. I have shoot. unlimited actions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only yeah. Unfortunately, she's only going to be able to hypersonic assault once. She's there. Sprint, sprint. She could. Okay. to here? Sure. Okay. I'm going to use hypersonic assault right. straight across. Well, that's the one hypersonic assault, though. Right. And yep. she, where is that going to Where is she going to okay. end? So I move my full move value. Yep. Bam. Yep. That, that's, that's pretty uh, decent, honestly. Oh, yeah. That's a very nice hit. Well, I'm assuming the cross, dice so help. We'll strike on Bunker and then on yep. uh, Ra. All right. So you can attack both of them at, like, every zero. Yep. And two's are auto misses, so you would attack Bunker first. Bunker, okay, five, four, four. And she's still got right. that nice chunk of defense from Legacy, so. Five, four, four. Very decent. And Bunker's using his dodge. I would hope so. And it helps. It's got a six. If yeah. it weren't for that dodge. And now you roll again at Or rather, Raw rolls defense. Uh, four, three. No, no, no. Two is an auto four, three. Oh, say, I, my apologies. That was the same attack like, hitting on the ground. So the first attack was. Oh, so the 544. Okay. 544, four, four. okay. okay. So, all right. I've also been using my dodge. All right. So. And Ra takes one damage. Okay, which is enough to damage. kick off the hypersonics penalty. Yes, it's true. Oh, and Ra dodged. You dodged. There's no damage to me. Oh, well, right. well, never mind then. But hey, Tachyon forces them both to spend their dodge tokens. And once again, they focused exclusive. They're going to be focusing much right. more on Tachyon right. now. And she has a defense plus one token. Actually, she has, she has two of them. Two defense plus one tokens. Yeah. So you know, she's actually in pretty decent shape. Hopefully, absolute zero decide. You know, if I were absolute zero, I'd still walk out front and put that wall of ice down, saying to uh, well, seal off Tachyon from her friends. Right. And it also makes the wraith come forward a bit because yeah. she can't see over the ice. Right. Right. So you got two move, two actions for absolute zero. Move him down here. Wall of ice. Yep. Done. Let's see what he does. Well, I'm hearing talk of hazard spaces around the table, so... Well, he gets to place a third power card. So the first thing is going to be putting a third power card down. for this third power card. I, I kind of like the one where hazard spaces weren't yeah, that I mean, much sub -zero of a problem atmosphere. Yeah. Sub-Zero Atmosphere is a decent one because it protects him from his own, from, it protects his friends from his hazard spaces and things like that. However, I wouldn't mind like a cold snap or something here because... Just something for him so that he can get a little bit of offense out? Sure. Well, like... I mean, a coolant blast... Yeah, because if... Yeah, maybe even actually a thermal shockwave. And that way he can start focusing on 
opponents. Actually, no. I would put out an approaching zero so that whenever somebody steps on one of his hazard spaces, he reduces their movement value so that people run to his ice wall and, and stop. And then stop. Yeah, I like that idea. Yeah. Approaching zero is a thing we haven't seen a lot of tournament play. One six is coming through Tachyon. One six. Tachyon. But, you know, Tachyon rollers. Oh, he's attacking Tachyon. Oh, what's this? The six, you're blocking. Yep. That is not what I expected. He moved and he attacked. He, he should have gone. And he played down. He, oh, he put down Thermal Shockwave. He could spend a point of health to attack him. I'm not sure he's going to, though. This is what I'm saying, though. I, I think Tachyon successfully distracted them, and now they're going to focus exclusively on her because they're afraid of what she might do. Right. Honestly, if I were absolute zero, I'd deal myself a point of damage on Thermal Shockwave to hit to hit her, and then he will take a little bit more damage, possibly between now and his next turn. Right. Then right. switch for Coolant Blast, which does extra damage based when you're on hurt, yeah. right. And so say, fine. Guess what? You you did you, this. You want to me. hurt me? Go for it. You did this to you. <laughs> but. The person playing absolute zero like that really needs to really needs to understand that damage is a is helping them at that point. Like getting hurt is helping them at that right. point. And that, yeah. that's a mentality it's, that we haven't really seen. Well, and it's absolute zero. Yeah. Hurting him hurt, he hurts himself to, to hurt do others. More things. Yeah. And he can heal up too. He does have a cryo inducer. Yep. Oh, so he is gonna do the thermal shockwave, it looks like. Okay. And he takes the point of damage. Beautiful. And Tachyon's already lost her lost her defensive card. No, one, Tachyon one, five, hasn't five, used six. her tokens yet. One one five six against Tachyon, and she probably should roll one of those defense plus ones. I would ones. hope so. There's a five. Yep. No, no, yeah. There's. One's fine. Okay. She'll probably make it to her next turn. All right, that is, so that is the end of round one. So round one, we saw a lot of actions. We saw a lot of attacks. I liked everything that I saw. Like, this is great. This is great. Yeah. Now, if I were Legacy, I'd actually, I'd actually go through the Flaming Tornado or at least skirt it because... You don't even need no, to, No, you don't though. even need to because you, don't even you, need could, to. you could go in and Flying Smash them without right. having to do that. Because Flying Smash goes four. Yep, you can move to here and then Flying Smash Bunker. Or you could go I'm cut across the mountains there, because he has mobility, so he didn't have to worry about anything. One, two, three, four, and, and flying smash was, bunker. Yeah. One, two, three, yeah. one, two, three, four. Unfortunately, you can't get close enough to get to the space that hits both bunker and raw, so you might as well fly across the mountains, avoiding the flaming tornado, and fly straight down uh, to flying smash bunker. Right. And that is great. That's what I would do yeah. if I were legacy in real life. Well, that's the thing, is you want to take the kill while you have it. Yeah. Uh, legacy did switch out Galvanize, but for Surge of Strength. Huh. So Legacy's still generating tokens. He's got Inspiring Presence, given tokens to allies, and he's got Surge of Strength, given tokens to himself. I, w I think then that this might be the more long play, where we see Legacy we're, we're get positioning, and then a Flying Smash. He drops a Flying turn, Smash, so. and he says, okay, I'm Flying Smashing, I'm hitting at least two, or maybe all three of them, and I'm dispensing tokens of justice. Right. Token justice. Token justice. Token justice. That sounds like a film from the 70s. Probably involves kung fu. I don't think I can do anything about that right now. I know. I'm there anyways. I'm not going to next turn. I'd watch it. Goodness, goodness. Yeah? Yeah, I'd watch that movie. Sure. Then I'll come back you up. But I might die too. I might die too, man. That's okay. <laughs> I like that. I might die too, man. We could might, all die. But you might die doing something fantastic. You know, if you're going to... We all die. Die gloriously. Exactly. Whoa, 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 whoa. That might not hey, be buddy. what you want to do. <laughs> I, I really enjoyed because I'm sitting here and there's a group of people standing in front of me and they're all watching the live is the stream, the feed that's going on right to my right. And as Legacy stepped into the Blazing Tornado, like four of them took physical steps back where they're like, what the? No, don't do that. Dude. It was really great. Probably all the people that saw Ra burn his team alive yeah. last game. Did you say last year? Last game. I thought you said last year and I was like, I, I don't know what Ra was doing last it's year. It's been so long. <laughs> it's true. You do not know what that Ra was doing last year. All right. All right. 
<laughs> you can't see it, but I'm glaring at Christopher for what he just said with his cryptic comments. Mm. You can't see it, but I'm thrilled. Let's move on. So Legacy does move across the top and then and then stops there. And it looks like he moved and sprinted. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. That's what Legacy's doing. And now we're on to Raw. Please make contact. So what, what, what power are you changing now? Uh, he left the... Oh, no, he staffed to Raw. He dropped, picked up the tornado and put down okay. staff of Raw. Excellent. And he's got a great shot right there on top. Now, Staff of Ra is no Solar Flare, but it does still give advantages. Where and a Solar Flare... Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, well, yeah. where a Solar Flare does give extra dice, the Staff of Ra instead allows you to re-roll auto-misses, and it gives you an attack plus one token on the surge. Yeah. You re-roll all auto-misses. Using the Staff of Ra, I'm going to re-roll all auto-misses. All of the auto-misses. Okay. What was your fourth time? Once, yeah. You can only do it once. If you roll auto misses again, you don't get the same. You can only do it once. Why does you yeah. roll once? Well, once per attack. Yeah. Right. A little bit of confusion. Basically, but that, means, that means that you can't just infinitely roll a die and it's not enough. Well, yeah, no, you can only use it once. Right, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Confusion has been rectified, yeah. and now it is time to set things on fire. Yeah, yeah. So he'll, he'll roll the attack, he'll pick up all of his auto misses, he'll roll those all a second time. If yep. they're still auto misses, tough cookies. Now, it says you may, so he doesn't, he's not obligated to re-roll all his auto misses. It's true. That see, is a true statement you just said there. See, I like to think of the, this as the surprise play. No one would see it coming. One of these days, I'm going to put all of these into action against you, and it'll be just like the most brilliant failure ever. Because you'll never understand why I'm doing any so of this. So he rolled a 6 and a 4 and a 5. And to the five <laughs> okay, there you go. So now what does he got? And one is blocked and one is not. Hey, so Takian does take a point of damage unless she wants to roll an extra defense die. And she is going to roll an extra defense die. Probably for the best. So she actually takes no damage. Takian only has one health missing. And Rod now does get to do his flame spike attack. Instead of discussing it, he's going to do that attack. You also, if you want, you can play this mic now. Oh, okay. He, he used flames. Well, flames spike. Uh, flames flame spike is not, not an action. action. So not you an can action. do that better one, and then you still have an action. Yeah. So, so I still have an action. Yeah. What he, so hold on. He has. Does he have both his actions now? Because flame spike he thought was an action, not oh, a flame yeah. surge. No. Okay, because he rolled three dice for flame spike, thinking it was an action. Okay. Sure. So the flame spike happens after you've already made another attack, right? So he. So you couldn't have done flame spike. Let me yeah, around. Flame spike is a legal shot. No, I'm yes. passing here and I got to walk. I'm going to show you. I, I so see what you're at. Yeah, so that's so, what I thought. So, 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 so fire blast was because you only roll three dice. Yes. Yes. Roll one more die. Okay. All right. So they're figuring out what they're doing. And I'm they're sorry, they're we, have, we have to solve a problem. So. Yeah. All right. So he made the fire blast and they got a free flame spike. Yeah. Which should go. <laughs> so, you, you see, he, he, he rolled three dice instead of four for his attack because he was reading the attack wrong. He just rolled the fourth die, which is a six. He made an illegal move. actually take one damage. Okay, we're all caught up. Tech does take okay. one damage. Everything's fine. And now and it's now time for the flame spike. He should now do the flame spike. flame spike. There we go. Because we made an attack, and that is three dice. Right? Oh, good. And this is another attack. Yeah, so flame spike happens for free. The two is an auto miss, so he can re-roll that two. But will he? He will. Yes, yeah. And it's a one, which actually isn't going to make range. But the three and the four are still coming at Takion. Takion blocks the three and the four, no problem. And now he has an action left. He could still... Let's see another flame blast. Yeah, flame blast and fire blast. Again, if he wanted, or he could do something different. Yeah, there we go. So fire blast again. And the two is an auto miss, so he can re-roll that two. He may re-roll that too. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. You write the cards. The oh, and it became a five, which is a better auto miss. Still an auto miss, though. <laughs> a more dramatic so auto miss. So the four and the six are coming to Tachyon. Tachyon rolls defense against that, and... Four and a six. Oh, he's roll again? Yep. And how... Here it comes. And she blocks... Oh, she blocks it all. Wow. Nice. But Ra does get to make a flame spike for free now. Eventually, Tachyon will have to stop dancing. Maybe. How much will get hungry? What's to say she's not eating right now and always? I have no response for that. Because there's no one to make. Uh, the two is an auto miss, it can't be re rolled. And the one doesn't make range, so it goes away. 
Oh, you could totally use attack. Yeah, he is. All right. And the five and the five is out of business, but... And then the one, obviously... So it's another three and a four. Three and a four. One, two, one, two, one, two. <laughs> Tachyon's just jumping around, and she really? blocks it, around. There totally blocks it. Wow, Rob unloaded on Tachyon. You know, and this is why I like Solar Flare more than uh, Firebox for this situation. Them with dice. Yeah. Right, because the, flame, um, uh, the Staff of Ra has very specific times in which I will use it. I like Staff of Ra a lot. But in this case, having rolled so many more dice would have made it a lot more of a sure thing. Probably. And now, it might it does mean that Ra gets a bunch of defense minus one tokens, but I love But if you can cap someone... If you didn't cast someone in the process, that's not it. that much of a loss. Absolutely. All right. The Wraith currently is running with throwing computer, th throwing knives, throwing computer and targeting knives. That would be extremely You're just throwing phones. Extremely odd. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, throwing knives and targeting computer. All right. And she's right there. So she, so she could throwing knives. She could totally see, she could totally see Tachyon. Oh, she doesn't want to shoot Tachyon, though. Because, you know, teammate and all. <clears throat> so three sixes coming up Bunker. And I believe that those three sixes are also going at absolute zero, because there's uh, yeah. Dice have to go in our beautiful, beautiful dice. Boards. By Wormwood. Wormwood is a fantastic company of woodworkers who made those dice cups for us. They're lovely. They also make some gorgeous right. dice containers and other materials. Uh, um, yeah, so absolute zero. Uh, bunker oh, is down. The Wraith just knocked down out Bunker. And near the turrets, so that's going to be an unpleasant way to wake up. Yeah. And that is one in cap, in cap for Spin the Dragon. <laughs> so right up next to him. Right, so you black lock one, the black one of them, but then you take two damage. All right, so in fact, absolute zero gets two damage right, from the race. Nasty set of throwing spin dice. Spin the dragon is doing a good job here. Let's see a raise reward. They so. certainly right. have a good spin on things. Never gonna let that one go. Nope. Nor should you. It is a good joke. Maybe. Roll three rolls movement. Stands back up. Gets one power. Is technically two. Right. So if I were Bunker, I would go into turret mode. That's what I was thinking, even though he's right next Black to the... Black cannon the, uh, the turret. Even though the Wraith is right there. Well, no, because then you still have two actions left. And then, yeah. So you okay. can grenade launcher up here, and you can snapshot micro-missiles. But turn and flat cannon the turret. Just yeah. get rid of Just it. Just in case. Yeah. Maybe attack with the Wraith and everybody first, and then if you're, once you're out of targets, flat, uh, then you can do it. But you could put a grenade, like, over here somewhere, too. But, yeah. But will he go with that? All right, so we're on to Bunker's turn. And it looks like he is going for turret mode. All right. So that's what we would do. Let's see what Bunker does. Turret mode. Yep. But he's in turret mode, so he is in, he is ending his turn in that area. Yep. But he could still destroy that turret. Maybe. Honestly, I'd, I'd kill everybody first and then destroy it. Not a lot of look, look, turret mode. It's got butter, butter, butter. It's all over the flavor text. <laughs> Not a lot of people have really recognized the turrets as a thing yet. They're, they're, I know. they're more of a feature of the landscape. They don't really understand that they're, they're things that can be moved, they're things that can be destroyed. There's so much you can do with those turrets. Now you're thinking with turrets. <laughs> Let's see, where are you standing? One, two, three, four. He couldn't get to absolute zero. He didn't want to see. He couldn't get to Tachyon with a grenade. But he could get to Ra with a... Oh, that's his teammate. He could absolutely get to... Yeah, I don't see why we wouldn't just go for for those two. Yeah. Um, well, he can't hit both can't of them. can't hit both of them. But, but he could hit either one. Honestly, I'd probably first grenade and then snapshot micro-missiles, the right. Yeah. Because she's, she's not, a, she's she's not running target. with defense right now. Yeah. And then toss a flat cannon at the turret. Just Not only that, yeah. but... On the off chance that you could cap the Wraith, you'd be able to cut down her shenanigans a little bit. Significantly, right. She'd have to come back up with just one, yeah. which at this range, she could pull up just stun bolt or just throwing knives and not go into targeting computer. Right. Um, and that would be fine for one, but all right. Come on, come on, come on. So Bunker is not able to move. I don't know why he's trying to do that. That's right. I can't write the turret mode on. That's unfortunate. Whatever. Yes, it's that not unfortunate. True. Don't waste turns.
All right, so now we are just waiting to see what's going on here. Ah, good. So okay, aim. so that's good. Oh, an aimed flat cannon at the I doubt this is going to go at the turret. All right. Okay. So ignoring the turret. All right, and this is on twos and sixes. All right, twos and sixes are rough, but. We avoided that problem by not rolling any. Five fours. That's a lot of fours. Five fours coming at the race. She can only block three of them. Now I'm curious. And she blocks, oh my gosh. Wow. Perfect. She still took two damage, but that was kind of the best case was scenario. nasty. The, the question is, is it gonna, I imagine that uh, Bunker is going to toss a grenade at her. Or the micro missiles. Um, but I'd actually go for the grenade. I'd probably go for the grenade. auto misses. Exactly. And no range counting. Yeah. Not that you count range with the micro misses of that range, but still. But still. Yeah. He's thinking. He's considering. What's it going to be? On the off chance that a turret took down a took down a target, who would get the kill? Would the turrets? Would it oh, be oh, oh. The null? No, 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 no. If someone dies, the other team gets the point. Okay. It's not about who kills them. It's about what team dies. What team if Legacy dies. goes okay. and runs circles in the tor in the volcano until he's dead, which we did actually see with Ambuscade we did. last uh, at Pack South, which was weird, but. Interesting. They wanted to prove a point? Uh, an odd point, but a point nonetheless. Wow. All right. Wow. Six. One six. Uh, that gets a point through. All right. The race down to two hit points. That's all I got, guys. And then you get reroll movement bunker. And then you're going to get attacked by a turret. All right. And you know, Bunker's not too concerned about that turret. So Bunker's move, got a movement of four, which is really useful when That's you're in turret nice mode. There, pick someone. One of you guys should roll the turret attack. It is three dice, but no auto misses. Yeah, wow. but it's only three. So six, six, two. Okay. okay, six, six, two coming to Bunker. Bunker rolls wow. some defense. Now, Bunker does have four defense, so that's okay. Probably, he just needs one or two sixes, and it gets one. Yeah. Only takes one damage. You know what? I feel like that's an acceptable. I would, oh, yeah. As Bunker, I'd be thrilled with that. Yeah. That's news we've gotten all day. All right, so you turn your face down. It's Tacky up here. Okay. I'm... Well, Tacky, they're making good time here, too. Tacky has got two health, so theoretically she could push the limits here. Uh, we're right, going well, with uh, uh, unrelenting so going momentum as her next thing. Action. So, so uh, And she has pushed the limits. Sprint. So sprint, sprint to punch? Two. And who are you going to punch? Uh, so I get a, get a punch. Yeah. punch. Do I do yeah. all that now? Yeah, yeah. sprint and then punch. Okay. Yeah. So, so I'm uh, doing it on... Absolute zero. Absolute zero. Yeah, there you go. Punch absolute zero. Of course, this makes absolute zero a lot more dangerous. Six and a one. Yeah, six he's six not going to, though. She has a push to limit. Yeah. She can just keep punching infinitely. Right. Since the one doesn't actually make range. And then he blocks a six. Okay. All right. Second, okay. Second action, another sprint. Yes. All right. Punch. Oh. I mean, that'll make range. Yeah, but that's probably not going to get through. And he blocks and it all. he blocks it, yeah. Okay. Now she uh, should. Third, she gets to free yeah, sprint run. Uh, yeah. Free sprint. To do yeah. Keep 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 at it. Keep uh, she keeps running down to the lower ground that I don't know why. It makes the ones six, not six, hit. Two. The two goes away, but two sixes. Two sixes could actually kill us. Oh, he oh, rolled a six. Wow. Two sixes. Wow. Absolute zeros in full defense mode. All right, push the limits. Do it again. You right. can't keep this well, up. Well, she's got she got one more action. Okay, then I'll I'll nimble strike. No, no, no. Sprint, sprint, sprint back up to the hills. You have. You currently at it, uh, you, you can't make them do six, everything. Five. Six. five six coming in absolute zero. What's he got? And he blocks the five. He takes but one damage. Six. Okay. All right. Yeah, All right. Push fine. the limits. Push the limits. Switch out for a sucker punch. I didn't even think about that. So she pushes the limits. So she loses a hit point. She's down to one hit point. Five now. And now you play at two power. Oh. Because it's part of your turn, right? Oh. What's Tachyon's movement currently? Because this seems like it might be a good time for a... Uh, this seems like it could be an interesting bit for a hypersonic, or maybe it could be a good bit for a lightspeed barrage against Ra, especially. So he spends a health to take an entirely second 
I, I want to see a light speed against yeah, against Ra. Uh, unrelenting momentum, momentum, momentum. Yeah. So it, what, what I wanted to do is pick up for it, it, since she has to pick up, uh, push the limits, put down Sucker Punch, just free kill absolute zero, and then use unrelenting momentum to Sucker Punch to to make three sprint attacks on Ra. And uh, that's a good point, because you don't want to leave Absolute Zero at one health. That's right. a very, very dangerous thing Well, and you, and you get a free kill, and then you get two, which you automatically... So, so since you get three actions, the first action is a Sucker Punch, right. and then two, and then a free punch. Like, yeah. it's, it's perfect. But, so let's see. And she picks uh, up Sucker Punch. And sucker punch. my first action to Sucker Punch. There we go. Sucker Punch to Absolute Zero. And he's done. All right. Shoot. And he's dead. Yep. Okay. That is nothing. So if you have one health, yeah. if you have one, no matter what you result, exactly. As long as if you only have one health. So spin the dragon. That's why it's called a sucker punch. Yeah, man. That's no, looking good for them. But uh, fifth place could really turn this All right. Yep. And now sure the question is, can they put down Raw? Sprint. Yep. Sprint and punch. Yep. Uh, five, yeah, five, four, one. one. There's a long uh, range. Raw. Raw rolls his defense. And Ra only blocks the one. He takes two damage. Ouch. That's not good. Now she gets to, uh, hopefully, she's going to sprint to punch again. This could okay. be it, guys. I'm going to sprint again. Yep. yep. Sprint again. Six, six, five. That oh, that's goal. great. Ouch. Ra rolls badly. This could be it. Six, oh, five. okay. Blocks one. Almost. Blocks two of it. Takes one and in damage. I'll use my free sprint. Yep. Uh, sorry. Uh, five, four, one. 5-4-1 is pretty good. Yes, it is. That could do it. Yes. And, and it does. And it does. That is an incapacitation. Done. Holy crap. And, that, and that that that's why Tachyon. And that is why Tachyon. People are like, she's got so few hit points. No way. Spin the dragon. Spun it around. She does not need to have heavy hits. She does not need to have a lot of hit points. She nope. just needs to make attack after attack she after. Overwhelm them with yes. little, bit, little hits. Absolutely. So Spin the dragon came back from their loss to do a win against a team that was doing a good job. To get, uh, and it, it was great. They Fantastic. really learned from their last game. Yeah. They really pulled it all together here. I was very pleased pretty much by everything I saw. Everything. That was a great game. Both teams played very well. Both teams should be very proud of their of their Absolutely, successes. absolutely. So we're going to take a very quick break, and then we're going to come back with something special from Dice Hate Me, something that you might not be expecting. It's going to be really cool. And then we'll be on to the semifinal matches. See you soon.